was a tentacle rape. There wasn't, but I would. N I'm Actually, guessing that that would be put into it. Have we talked about? I'm pretty sure we did. Sex. <laughs> sex on the connect. Uh, yeah, I was, I was gonna say, have we talked, uh, talked about sex? Not talked about talk sex. Talk to me about anything. <laughs> what do you want to know? <laughs> Why? Why? Well, when a man looks at a woman, sometimes no! bends her over and no! goes for it. I'm gonna. No! Steve. Camera. Oh, yeah, <laughs> shit. Okay, no, this thing where um, I'm pretty sure we talked about it before, but it was like with a Kinect, you could actually um, feel up virtual boobs. Really? Yeah. Balls deep? I'm sure you could. If you, if you wanted to program that, you could. <laughs> but awesome. just, yeah, that was an interesting another Kinect hack. Yeah. Sweet. This, uh, yeah, 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 this is kind of similar. Uh, another, um, let's see, yes, again, they actually put Kinect technology, Kinect like technology, into an iPad. Oh, fine. So you can actually interact with an iPad, like, you know, swipe across, swipe back, pause, play, swipe up, swipe down, just with your hand. Oh, yeah. Like about, about I think they were saying like a foot, so about 30 centimeters in front or so. And so you just... Fantastic. Touchless displays. So, you know, imagine how you want them in some situation where you don't need to touch it. Holy crap. Interactive. And there was actually another one. It, oh, no, the, no, hang on. There was the rumor there. The Israeli company behind the Kinect technology mm. um, actually came out with a thing called Wavy Action or something oh, like that. Yeah, wave, stupid, Wavy Action. Stupid yeah. name. God damn. Um, and the rumors were that Marcus. it was going to be a device for PCs. Yeah. So you could actually use your PC with like handless, not handless <laughs> motions. <laughs> it's the Kinect for <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You just use your tongue. No, I mean, like touchless or whatever. So, you, yeah, use your, use your computer with hands for. out in front. But, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> was but, that um, like groping boobs? But um, they didn't end up doing that. They ended up just, uh, it was just for TVs. <laughs> I'm trying to like tell people. I know, like, I know. I'm, I'm trying to tell boobs. the news here. I'm, I'm trying to virtual boobs. I'll stop. But actually, we had a, we had a good... Uh, we, we t oh, I remember we talked about that. We were, like, we were saying that um, probably the best place for the Kinect type technology linked up to computers and TV uh, mm. is through TV, sorry. Yeah, definitely. Rather than through computers, because especially media entertainment centers, yeah. where if you're in a living room and you're all sitting down, why would you want to have to pick up a remote or any keyboard and mouse? Fights around the remote? Just, yeah, when you could just be like, computer, like, yeah, do play this. this do yeah, the Kinect actually yeah, moves yeah, around yeah, on its yeah. axis and looks at you. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's been such a big thing of the CES, like, you know, bringing out all their 3D TVs or their HD TVs and all of the, the big TV stuff here. And it's yeah. just like, yeah, well, that's it. But the Kinect, Put a Kinect in it. The Kinect can actually be the. Let me play, let me play any streaming it. movie, TV show, or anything simply with my hands by sitting on the couch. Why not? And it's a better and, interface and voice, than. And voice as well. Oh, and voice. It's a better interface than what Android's trying to do, what Apple's trying to do, what all of them are trying to do. Like, yeah. as everyone, like, the goal is to get the TV, but the Kinect might actually have it because it's a better user interface you just use your hands to do it yeah. you don't pass around a remote you look at a tv you share it with your family and stuff and you just swipe through and that's how you watch tv none of this stupid other shit i'm sure that the technology's there there's nothing to stop it like no nah, it's surely you yeah. can sit down on your, on your couch be like computer on or click or something, connect it, yeah and then it turns on and then you just a simple screen and it's like maybe there's four like four or five things and you're like okay i want to play movies yeah, you, you put your hand up, it goes to movies, and you're like, okay, okay, play that one. Yeah, it oh. works remarkably well. Wait. And the best part is that the camera does actually move around. It's not like the, the iToy or the PlayStation Move and all of them now that yeah. it's just static. Like, this actually goes up and down and then it analyzes you to actually pick up what it is. It's fantastic. Cool. So, um, yeah, well, that, that was a big thing of CES, and I think really focus on the Kinect. The Kinect is going to be the big thing here that I can't get enough of the Kinect. Just yeah, love Oh, it. the taser one. Oh, the taser. This <laughs> is just another stupid thing. Personalized tasers for your family. It's smiley faces. Everyone's smiling. And it's pink. So, you know, fits in with your purse. Yeah. What else we got? We should wrap it up. Oh, we've we still got a few more things. Okay. Um, well. Dual screen tablets? Well, there's, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, the obvious thing this one is the death of the PC, which is the big one, like tablets. Tablets, tablets, tablets everywhere at CES, and people are saying that this is kind of the end of the PC. I mean, especially with um, Microsoft now announcing they're going to work on ARM technology, AR, ARM chipsets and stuff, <laughs> rather than yeah, <laughs> rather than just on uh, Intel chips and stuff. Well, not just Intel, like on the x86 architecture, they're yeah. going to work on ARM, and the same with like you know Intel going around to everyone. I mean, Nvidia's going there. The PC used to be the dominant thing, whereas now everyone is just like whoo, going around to establish who's going to be the new yeah. order. The, 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 the tablet thing, but we're actually saying, 
uh, tablets might not be as big as gesture stuff. Yeah. Remember that we um just why not? We we're talking on the weekend and like a uh, really cool idea was um uh, the gesture internet basically. Yeah. Like if if Connect say came out if Connect technology came out on TVs and media centers and stuff, then you're gonna end up wanting to have you know, an app store on, on there. Yeah. And then you're going to have, like, say, Facebook on your TV. Yeah. With control by gesture. So it's going to require a different UI. It's going to require different sort of yeah. stylings and formattings of the information. And really... It's essentially, like, it's well, essentially like the internet, but on TV yeah. through a gesture-type system. Especially as it gets cheaper. Like, I was just thinking of it just right there that, say, like, I've, I've used my phone and, like, used the iPad and, like, even a Kindle and stuff, like, you know, lying in bed and whatever, like, you're reading stuff that way. But yeah. say that when... TV screens are getting so ridiculously cheap that you just chuck them up wherever to interact with the TV screen. You just you just move your hands. You just so integrate the, that way. On the ceiling? Well, why not on the ceiling? <laughs> or like say on the walls and stuff. Like I mean, an obvious future trend is just whole walls can be like you know digital stuff. In toilet you balls. interact. Toilet bowls that could work well. You swish in the pee string. It's a game. It's like a sprinkler. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you do like the, the water fountain going round. You get points based on where it touches. Could work really well. Don't cross the streams. Yeah, I I, I like this idea. I, like, yeah, I, I still think the touchscreen those are going to be the in between thing. I mean, everyone is jumping on it. I mean, there's e even one here about, what about the Kindle. E oh, yeah. e -ink. I, I I think they're going to be big, but they're going to be a separate thing. I think they'll be just be for books, won't they? Yeah, just be for books because they're nice to read and they're great, but they're I think they're a totally different beast to tablets. Yeah, but I, tablets are going to be massive. I I like everyone's coming out with their like you know. Uh, killers there. Android's I know it's kicking off. They've got the uh, Android oh, gingerbread. Uh, no, honeycomb. Honeycomb. Android honeycomb. Yeah. Yum. Everyone was mocking the UI, but I mean, oh, the UI. You're gonna, is you're gonna have more tablets running Android than yeah. anything else. So. Well, and then you have the Surface, Microsoft Surface. Like there was this one here about a 46-inch panel, unlimited touch inputs. So it could actually read like if you wrote it on a piece of paper and put it on a piece of paper, and read it. But it was uh, really interesting with it that their demonstration was so crap. Like, I mean, everyone, it was really impressive, like, you know, technologically wise, that you sat at Red Bull on top, yeah. and then it brought up all these pictures, another menu. I was like, oh, you can look at pictures from Red Bull and stuff. It's like, wow, that's a cool demonstration. When in hell would I yeah. ever do that in real life? How does that benefit me in any way, shape, or form? Why would <laughs> I ever put what I'm drinking on a table and say, hey, let's see what movies are associated with this? Yeah. It's not beneficial. Like, well, just, it's great for marketing, I guess. Marketing, but and it's only when you... And branding and yeah. promotion. It's only when you critically think about it, you realise how utterly useless. I love Surface. I think it's a great idea, and I think there's going to be massive big tables that are all that way, but use, do something proper. Like, I mean, do something good. They're only going to be used for hospitality, though. Like, say, imagine you're at a, a pub or a bar or whatever, or, yeah. or a nightclub. That'd and you, be great. And you put your beer down, and it's like, blah, 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 cold and dry. And it's like, you know, it shows different little action movies or games That's involving cold and dry. Stupid, stupid. All but the you it, it, have a button there, order another. But they'll do whatever, yeah, but they'll do whatever they possibly can. They'll make them fun and entertaining. It'll be fun, like, if you can talk to other people. It'll tables. reinforce the brand association. Oh, maybe just have yes. a car Carlton thing there. It's like the same way that you don't go to, like, you know, Carlton Dry's YouTube channel to go and search for pictures when you're bored. Some people do. Wow, they're, they're, they're depressing. You should get a life. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh, some, oh, Google Goggles can uh, solve Sudoku puzzles. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. That's pretty cool. That's, that's kind of epic. I'm, I'm just at this point. I'm just literally just spitting out whatever. I've oh, there's been tons of stuff. In the last week. Oh, there's so much that's been on CES, but ah, uh, there's lots of car integration now. You got blue Blu-ray in there, so that's yeah, kind of cool. everything in cars. But it seems like the, the main focus of CES has been, you know, well, it's it's the whole the renaissance of PC or PC is dead. Sorry, the renaissance of the, the new device. Renaissance. The renaissance. It's a, it's, it's a new platform. We're here right now when a, a new platform is being developed and everyone's fighting for it because no one knows who's going to be the winner. It's yeah. Great. It's good fun. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty good. we have been going for quite a while, so we yeah. should yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, this has been the first week back since... Uh, well, it's been three yeah. weeks or so. So, so the, the, the extended time was justified. I think I it think. was. I think so. And it was yeah. CES as well. Like, I mean, that's, that's kind of important yeah. to talk about. And so, yeah, awesome. next time we'll try and get it under 20 minutes. I yeah. promise. Next week. If you have any ideas for what we should talk about next week, mm. put them in the comments. If you want the future of sex, I'm cool with that. Like, why not? Yeah. It would be very boring and rather awkward. Yeah. Especially, like, you know, us talking about it in a very logical, serious tone. Yes. The penis enters the vagina. <laughs> well, it does. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs>
bad. <laughs> Training manual with a robot that just slaps you when you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Don't cross the street. <laughs> I actually, I came, up with, I came up with an app idea. You came up with something. Uh, you came up with an app idea which would actually control how people have sex. Ooh. T it turns sex into a game. Let's do that. You get points? You do get points. Yeah, hells yeah. That would be good fun. And know how to make it. I'll get Louie onto it. Mm. I know. We'll see. Facial, 100 points. Achievement <laughs> unlocked. Pistol <laughs> points. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> on that note, this has been High 45. Oh, I'm Tristan Gross. I'm Nathan <laughs> We'll catch you next week. You're a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs>